van over de was in Iron Man. And Iron Man had an accident. He went through the ceiling and he went crashed through the piano. And people wondered whether he crashed through a Blutner piano. But that was, I think, a Chinese piano. And the piano fell all apart and it was sideways and it said Blutner on there. But Mr. Blutner in Germany sent us the, the name, the decal, <laughs> and they put it on it broken piano. The other one came back. <laughs> Perfect. We had a store in 1962 on Lake Avenue in Pasadena and because most of our business was in recording studios and in films on sets and in concert halls, uh, we found out that Larchmont is the center of our activity. We are just a few blocks away from Paramount Studios. Unfortunately, after 75 years they closed the scoring stage, we could have just rolled a piano up to the scoring stage, we were that close. People who live here, they remember the movies that were made on Large Mount. There used to be a streetcar line from downtown Los Angeles to Hollywood. this beautiful uh, Danish modern piano designed in 1931. It's the only one in the United States. A uh, new one, uh, two older ones from the 30s were owned by Frank Gehry. We were told he had one, but we are sure that Steven Spielberg had one. Our harpsichords go out a lot. Mm -hmm. And since 1963, we have been Wedding concert harps, of course, but uh, when it comes to the movies, they need uh, for orchestral uh, recordings, like for the Titanic, Hercules, or for Munich, or all those films, it's always our harps, of course. But also for the Dixie Chicks and Kanye West and Beck. And the last one who had a harps, of course, was Alicia Keys. And she asked, well, what else do you have that's interesting? And so she used a copy of Mozart's piano. Mm -hmm. 